I've been interested in the Nothing Phone 2 because I plan on getting one, reviewing it. I actually want to really keep it, but um, there was a now that the Nothing Phone 2 comes out in about three weeks and uh, almost two weeks, eh, about three, whatever. Um, I was interested in the price because they're trying to up the specs going from a mid tier phone with mid tier specs, mid tier price to a upper mid range phone or a lower class flagship phone. Why do I say a lower class flagship? Because it's gonna have a year old processor. Now, is that a big deal? Mm, not really. Um, I've used that processor on, it's gonna have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus. It's, uh, it's a really good processor. Uh, the reason why they did this, the reason why they're not going with the very best is because the price increase. Remember, they're trying to stay under the competition. They're trying to undercut the competition. Um, uh, it's a very good processor. It's really good on battery life. Uh, none, nobody is going to have any issues with it. I can guarantee you. That's not going to be an issue. Uh, it's They've tweaked it just perfect. It won't overheat. I, I, I can almost promise you it's going to be awesome. It's gonna have an upgraded screen, bigger screen, 6.7 up from 6.55 and then nothing phone one. It's gonna have 120 hertz display, battery's gonna be bigger. So they're just basically increasing everything because on the phone one, they had a Snapdragon 778G, which was definitely a mid tier processor last year. Um, and they're jumping to a flagship processor. However, it's a year old, but you, you get the idea. It, trust me, it'll be fine. Um, so the, the device is getting bigger, it's getting bolder, it's getting beefier, it's getting stronger. Um, it looks like it's going to keep the same uh, uh, LED lights on the back, uh, see-through back. Now, I was interested in the price because, like I said, I plan on getting one. There was a retailer that is going to sell the phone. Uh, they sold the phone. This retailer sold the Nothing Phone 1. Now, it is a French retailer. It is a French uh, electronic store or what have you in France, obviously. Um, they leaked the price of the Nothing Phone 2. Now, this was a shocker because I looked at it. I literally did a double take. I was like, wait, so what? what? <laughs> they, uh, let's see, how many euros? Um, I think it was like 700 in 60 euros which comes out to i know it was about 789 us dollars they didn't list it under us dollars they listed it in euros i believe but after the conversion it came out to 789 dollars which is a enormous increase because i think brand new it was 499 or 489 something like that so they're basically adding i mean they're that's a huge increase. Uh, it's not a little $50 bump like Google did with the 6A to the 7A. This is like almost doubling the price. Now, Carl Pay, the owner of Nothing, uh, put a tweet out saying, who leaked this with a, a mad emoji face? Um, is he, I mean, obviously I'm sure he is surprised at, at the leak, but what I think the price, right? It's shocking. I did not think it was going to be, be that much because let me tell you, and I'll add Carl Pay and I will add nothing. I think the, I think that's too much of a price increase. The whole reason why I was, now I still plan on getting it, but I am definitely keeping very close eye at the price because when it comes down to it, that's basically the determining factor whether somebody buys your phone or not. Now, is the urge there to buy it? Does it look cool? Does it is all you know? Is nothing putting out really cool press uh, releases and renderings and putting out their own leaks and you know they're trying to garner interest uh, uh, in their device and their upcoming device. Now, yeah, I, I'm familiar with all that. It catches my eye. I'm of interest. Um, but like I said, it all comes down to price. I could want, I want a Ferrari, right? But at two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, I cannot afford one. If a Ferrari was thirteen grand, I'd be sitting in a Ferrari right now. So 
it comes down to price in my opinion if that is if that is true if that leak is true that's too expensive um i'd rather you look the most i would pay for one i was totally fine with paying 4.99 or even a uh, last year's price but i know it was going to go higher because they bumped the specs up i would be okay paying 550 maybe prob not maybe probably 599 right 600 right around there is i think my max uh which would almost be uh five about a, what 100 100 dollars 100 dollar increase i think around 600 us uh, usd uh united states dollars probably the the price point where once it starts going over the 600 price point you can just see the people dropping off dropping off dropping off that were planning on buying this phone just because it's simply too expensive going back to the whole ferrari analogy there's tons of people that want them but tons of people can't afford them and there go your sales now i know it's a you know ferraris always sell out but um this is a niche phone for a niche tech user like myself and i'm sure like the people uh, are, are my viewers right now right um of interest to you so they're selling a device that people do not need it's a want uh and i'm not telling uh nothing and uh, uh carl pay how to set their price and what it should be i'm just saying in my opinion that seems a little too high and will i get it i don't know anymore i mean i would have to sell my uh, uh i wouldn't have to sell it because i'm going to trade this in for a pixel 8 my pixel 7 pro i'm just saying once it reaches that that point plus you got taxes so if it's 780 you're going to be looking at 880 something like that maybe yeah right around there 850 so 850 somewhere around there now here's the other thing they're not selling them in carriers unless they have a trick up their sleeve and they're going to introduce it with t-mobile i doubt it however uh i would expect them to hopefully try to get in one of these re u.s retailers but this year seems too soon um most people in the united states purchase a new phone through a retailer and when they purchase it through a retailer they purchase it on a 24 to 36 month plan well if nothing is not in a retailer and somebody is expected to shell out 850 dollars um that eliminates a ton of people because like because the amount of people that can pay 40 bucks a month for a thousand dollar smartphone you know that opens up the book to a ton of of possible customers and if you didn't have that financing stuff that these carriers offer it would probably cut your sales by 70 percent 75 percent um at least in the U at least in the united states now they may have some sort of financing um i know they advertise on their website all major credit cards accepted so you can buy with a credit card pay it off over time which is just basically the same thing as financing in a carrier but um it's just very interesting to see where the price point is um if you go back on nothing's uh youtube page they have a um a little short video of carl pay breaking down the price points for the iphone and the i believe it was a samsung galaxy and no it was a nothing phone one and an iphone 14 something like that but he was going through all the um the cost right cost of all the parts of the phone manufacturing basically what does it cost per device for them to manufacture and i think it's basically whatever a, it's around it's not exact but it's ballpark um and it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer samsung's going to be different from nothing nothing's going to be different from apple one plus going to be different um for Motorola it all comes down to negotiations how you can negotiate prices with the chip makers with the kit with the sensor uh, sensor uh, with with Sony for the cameras all these deals have to be negotiated you try to get the lowest price possible so when you sell the device you get the uh, um, uh, highest profit possible the less money I spend on making this phone the more money I can make when I sell it right 
So I, I believe the general ratio is two to one. So if this phone costs me $250 to make, I believe the price point that most of them set it is double. So if this cost me $250 to manufacture, to make, everything cost goes into this phone, whether it be a, a, a small percentage for the labor to put it all together, the processor, the sensors, the volume button, everything, speakers, 250 bucks with the labor in the in the warehouse and everything 250 i believe the general i think what from now it's been a while since, since i've seen the video but I, the from what i took away from it is they generally try to double whatever they uh put into it so if this costs 250 we're going to ask 500 if this cost 400 dollars to make we're going to ask 800 so um the more specced out your phone is, the more uh, 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 um, the price is going to cost, retail price, you know, so whatever. Um, it'll be interesting to see within three weeks. I'm going to cover this very closely. I think it is a very underrated phone that not many people know about, that more people need to know about. And I wish, I hope that they keep the price down as low as possible because I really believe this is a brush of fresh air. This is a, a breath of fresh air in the uh, mobile technology world, specifically with uh, phones, because you basically just have your big three top hitters. You have your Apple, obviously, for, with the iPhone. You have Samsung with their Galaxy devices, S23, uh, which I'm filming on now, Ultra. And then you have Google with their Pixels, in my opinion. Now, they may not sell the most, right? They, Motorola's may sell cheaper phones. They may number of units. But I'm talking about premium flagship experiences or devices or devices that I want to use. I don't want to use a OnePlus, uh, what's that new one? That cheap one that they came out with, uh, N30. I don't, want, I don't want that. I don't even want to touch it uh, or put my SIM card in it. I don't want to deal with that crap because it is. It's crap. Uh, Motorola, the whatever. I don't even pay attention to the cheaper stuff. To be honest with you, I don't. It's I don't. I don't, I use my devices all day. I work on my devices. I make money on my devices. So I'm not concerned with the cheap crap. I, I'm, I'm talking about the flagship devices. There's only three companies that that's worth buying: Apple iPhone, Samsung Galaxy, and uh, Google Pixel. And that's it. Now, I would like to see nothing come into the market and really make a name for himself for themselves because it's a big deal. Uh, if they can, now I'm not expecting them to sell millions of these phones, but slowly but surely, every year you you keep on making a good product, good product, good product, good product. Your sales are going to go should go up and up and up slowly but surely right and then in five six years you could be up there too uh so uh nothing so um i will get one we'll just have to see how much it's going to be so uh stay tuned to the channel subscribe to the channel um comment in the comment section if you know what colors these are because for these pixels because there's a couple that i have no idea but go to our telegram channel you can download them install them on your phone they're in high definition and subscribe to our channel for all the latest and breakest all, all the latest late breaking news thank you very much and i'll see you next time peace out